Right, good morning from Konken. Uh, today, I'm not entirely sure what we're doing today. Cynthia has a lot planned for me. It's going to be quite a local experience, I'm told. I'm really excited about it. Uh, I've been saying I, I don't want to do the regular tourist things and stuff like that. Cynthia grew up near here, so she's going to take me, introduce me to some people. Uh, I, look, I don't know. Let's just, let's just go find out. Morning, Cynthia. Good morning. How are you? I'm well, very very well. So today I have surprise for Adam. See his reaction. <laughs> so it's just after 10 o'clock. I haven't eaten yet. We've got some cereal chocolate in the car that we had yesterday. Oh, that's real good. Uh, we might have to stop and get some real food. Mm -hmm. So Konkan is actually a much bigger city than I remember. We only sort of came through here at night. We didn't really see a whole lot. But the next day we drove out um, and, and went up north a little bit. But it's definitely bigger and more developed than I expected. I'll put it on a map for those of you that haven't been here so you know exactly where it is. Um, but it's really interesting. So we've come right out of the city now. We're out in the country. Really nice out here, really peaceful. Uh, we're just going through like the little towns, the little villages. I'm enjoying this. Right, we have arrived. That was a beautiful drive on the way in. Like, I, like, I love driving through the little provinces and stuff. Uh, I have a feeling I'm being put to work today. So they prepared for us a traditional style Isan lunch. I'm really excited to try it. Uh, everything here, it's all it's all fresh, it's all natural. It's you know what they've caught, grown or whatever here. It's all looks really, really good. I'm dying to try it. So good i'm having such a good time already just chatting telling stories you know something i learned over the years of travel is like you don't need to know like you don't need to know a language really well to be able to tell stories and communicate with people um you know we're having no issues communicating and, and i'm having such a good time i'm going back So that was a great lunch. I'm having such a good time already. So uh, now I'm being put to work, which is good. This is like, I've been asking to do things like this. I want to come to the real local places, like the villages, you know, and I want to experience the culture here. Um, and I said, you know, if there's any farm work or anything they want me to do, I'm happy to help.
been given this to try. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'm very intrigued. That's good. <laughs> so this is really nice. Everyone's just inviting us into their places to show us what they're doing here. You know, they just offered me some food. I'm not entirely sure what it was, but it was really nice. <laughs> so we're just gonna keep walking through and seeing more of this. <laughs> And Cynthia's got a dog. Seems like people are doing things like they're working in each of their houses here. You know, there's a there's this chicken here, <laughs> um, but here they're making they're doing more of the handmade stuff. Um, you know, we're just over there, and there's the guy cutting the fish and things like that. So they're all working here in this little uh, in this village. So we've come to another house and in this village there's a lot of houses doing the same thing so they're making these big the beautiful fabric rolls that they make so this is one of the steps just behind me here so they they roll the the fabric into the little balls and then they feed it through the big machine Actually, it looks like cynthia's having a go so we'll go check it out So the lady doing it before, she makes it look really easy, she's really fast and efficient at it. And Cynthia had a crack at it and she's not doing that well. <laughs> but they're all finding it very, very funny. a boat to go fishing in so he's basically just welding it together it looks like it's just out of sheet metal um you know it's just been bent bent by him and he's just welding the last bits together it's so thailand has these insane i don't even know what to call them it's like a tractor thing um i've seen like videos of them and i thought they were really funny and now apparently i'm gonna go in one or on one or something i'm not really sure here let me show you
that was really fun. I've been dying to drive one of them since the first time I saw I only saw them a couple of weeks ago for the first time. So really fun. Uh, it's actually much harder to drive than I thought it would have been. Maybe it'd be easier if you're going faster, but to steer was really difficult because the power's going through the front wheels um, and you got to sort of like hold onto it really tightly to stop it from, you know, going off and doing its own thing. Really fun. Oh, he makes that look easy. I don't think I'm cut out to be a fisherman. Which one? Well, I think if nothing else, I'm providing great entertainment for everyone. I'm terrible at all these things. <laughs> want to to be a normal guy in countryside one two three Adam can cast all the leaves. Mm, very perfect. <laughs> no fish again. Well, that was still fun. I didn't catch anything, but at least I learned how to throw it properly. <laughs> I was really happy with like getting the technique right to be able to throw it. These guys make it look much, much easier than it actually is. Damn, I wish I could have fish. <laughs> but we don't have a boat, and I think if you're way out in the middle, it'd be much easier because there's more fish around and it's deeper and everything. Oh well, I still had fun. So this village has, you know, it's got a structure, there's a hierarchy here, but basically everyone that lives here, they have a responsibility. So you see, you know, the different houses we went into, people doing, providing different services to the village. Um, they don't use money for the most part here. You know, people do, obviously, they, they still make money if they need to go get things from out of the village and stuff like that. But basically everyone in here sort of helps each other out. So you can go to some people if you need food, you can go to some people if you need clothes. And, you know, everyone has their role within the community to basically help each other and keep it going. So those beautiful fabric rolls that we saw earlier being made this is where they end up you know they end up being made into dresses and stuff like that and then also they sell them off like in the in the rolls basically so this place they keep it here they sell it to the people in the village and stuff like that but they also export it and then sell it off to you know shops in in the other cities and all other parts of thailand And the really nice thing with all this stuff, it's completely handmade, you know, you saw it being made earlier on, um, you know, with the fabrics and then it's all put together by hand and the attention to detail in all this stuff is just, it's, it's amazing.
And one of the things I noticed here is that everyone stops and has a chat with each other and it seems like the general morale in this place is really high, you know, everyone like everyone seems like they're in a good mood, you know, every time we stop and like we're talking to people out the window There's a lot of laughter going on, you know, I have no idea what they're talking about But you know, everyone seems la everyone's laughing and seems really happy and there's a lot of smiles and everything. It's really nice Oh man, what a day. I've had so much fun today, so I've been wanting to do stuff like this for quite a while now, you know, I want to get away from the touristy like attractions and places and things like that. I want to have a real local, have a real Thai experience um, and I'm so glad I've been able to do it today. The people that are with us have been like absolutely lovely, we've had a lot of fun. I think if nothing else, I've been great entertainment for the people here today, you know, people have been laughing at me all day with, you know, learning how to fish, do the fishing and things like that. It's been quite funny. It's definitely been an experience I won't forget. We come for dinner with a whole bunch of people Cynthia knows. Your friends, right? My friends, my big family. Your big family. Awesome. There's a whole bunch of us here and the food looks incredible. 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 Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> There's some suspects looking food here, but they won't tell me what it is. I'll try it first and then I'll find out afterwards. So Cynthia's giving me food that she's telling me is fish. I know it's not fish. I saw something that looks like a claw or a hand or something in there. And the skin looks... I don't know. It's, it's on fish. It looks like lizard or something. How do I eat it? Mm -hmm. Tastes like fish. You must eat the bone because it. Oh, you I eat the bone? It. Yeah, I'm trying, but I did not eat. Okay. I think they're messing with me. All right, what was it? What is this? Mm. Dog, it? Oh, lizard! It was lizard! <laughs> I ate lizard! So I, I ate mouse like a few days ago. That's much better. It's actually not bad. <laughs> Alright, that was a great dinner. I've been ushered in. Apparently there's something to do with cookies in here. And I'm very interested in cookies. Brownie. Oh, brownie. Brownie tea pan tea today, look. Mm. Mm. Really good. Did you try? <laughs> bye bye. Come on, come. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Alright, that was a really fun day. That was a memorable day for me. You know, I've been wanting to do things like this for a long time. I don't know about the eating lizard thing. That was that was her evil idea. Um, but actually. It tasted really good um, in, in the, the mince one. It was really nice and I actually quite enjoyed it. So very unexpected. I hope I, he was shocked, but... I was I was shocked. I saw the hands, I knew, <laughs> I knew it was something weird. <laughs> yes. All right, well, we're gonna wrap the video up here. So we're out of here tomorrow. We're heading back to Pattaya. Again, we've just been, we've been all over the place lately, but yeah, tomorrow another road trip back to Pattaya. So anyway, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. Okay, hi. Hi. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> it's all yours, go. Adam, eat resort. Resort, Adam! Yeah. <laughs> Light us.